Crystal Recharge was recently moved from Halo Infinite, saying due to a recent discovered exploit, the Halo Infinite team has applied a back-end update to temporarily remove the map Recharge from the Ranked Arena matchmaking playlist. Next week, a patch will fix the map's issues and Recharge will return. Stay tuned for the updates. If you do not know what the recharge bug is, it's this right here. Where basically, when one of the pillars is lowered down, if you crouch down into it, you actually will not take any damage because the geometry still reads it as the pillar still being up, though you can physically stand on a crouch in it and not take any damage of it. And not gonna lie, I took a little advantage of this just for the lulls. <laughs> <laughs> I'm evil. That was just a clip from my stream playing like a social match and just kind of messing around and stuff. So I wasn't def definitely not doing that in rank. That's why they removed it from the rank settings right here. And uh, when that patch does go live, I'll let you guys know here on the channel. While we're on the topic of bugs, check out this right here. Someone tried grappling a vehicle and it didn't go into the grapple animation where the grapple jack animation, if that's what you want to call it. And for some odd reason, it just didn't work. And a 343 employee did reply to this glitch, essentially confirming what the person was saying, that basically since you can see the player jumping out of the vehicle when he's about to get grapple jacked, it reads the vehicle as not having someone in there, which doesn't end up doing the grapple jack animation. Though a player can simply just jump right back in the way the vehicle kind of floats down and stuff like that. So it's kind of like this weird, awkward timing kind of thing where previously the only way you can only, only avoid having a grapple jack taken on you is if you're in a banshee and you have like a very well-timed backflip. That's where that would actually happen. So this is going to be in the works right now. Uh, the 343 employee, 343 taxi here on Reddit, that said that they logged into their PC, put a thread up to get this taken into consideration because uh, even though this is an excellent way to counter the grapple shot which is very useful to grab on the vehicles to grapple into their vehicles and stuff like that uh and i do think there should be a way to kind of counter this in a way because i do think it's rather easy to grapple jack vehicles uh though it does seem like it should be something where the player who is doing the grapple jacking should be put into that vehicle and it's currently being worked on right now when it will get fixed we have no idea but of course once i do get some information i'll share it with you guys here on the channel so this next bit of information is a total leak and apparently it's added strings to the tatanka game mode i don't know how people get access to this kind of stuff but also we've seen some rather credible leaks from this Twitter account right here. And it has a list of weapons right here, all pretty standard to what we have in Halo right now. The one that really stands out is the M392 Bandit. That's a completely different weapon that we do not have in this game right now, which if you guys are familiar with any of the official terminology when it comes to the weaponry in Halo, the M392 is the DMR, which we did cover in a previous leak. It's actually shown in game, which the rather credible account of Halo.API put this together. You can see that there is a DMR within Halo Infinite's Lone Wolves, probably second half of the narrative event that we had for season two, uh, showcase along with a lot of other kind of parts that you've seen within the Academy and things like that. So it like, really does kind of help legitimize this kind of leak and information like that now this was obviously two separate different kinds of game modes does this mean that the DMR is returning in some capacity well probably not until season three because right now within season two there is no roadmap section talking about elements coming into Halo Infinite like new weapons new modes or something like that these in particular but we do have that with season three with new sandbox items literally written down here for season three so we could see the dmr come in then which is was when i was expecting to see the tatanka mode come into halo infinite which was also kind of ties into the leaked information that we had about tatanka from Jez Corden saying that he was kind of expecting that mode to release at the end of this year, but since we didn't have that mode revealed at Xbox Showcase, it makes me think, well, we might not be seeing the Tatanka mode at the end of this year, but we could be seeing possibly a DMR with season three. And within that same Tatanka mode script leak that we have right here, guys, two interesting things showcase right here. These are all the different vehicles apparently tied in with the Tatanka mode. Again, this is total leaks. Take it with you will, grain of salt kind of stuff. But see right here down below in the script, it says Mantis and Falcon, which if a Falcon comes back in Halo Infinite, well then, I'm gonna be a very happy boy as that's probably my favorite vehicle of all time uh, in the Halos franchise to have that come back and especially with the rumored battle royale to Tonka mode then you got me a little excited plus the Mantis yeah Mantis is awesome too don't get me wrong that's great as well but 
that falcon though so if you're new to the channel miss any content from me recently check out this playlist right here i can link to all my gaming news and informational videos right there thanks so much for watching greatly appreciate it catch you on the next one peace out